Hello friends and fellow card players, it's time for some Regency Solitaire, and uh, time, time for me to do some terrible British accents, I think, is that there's a little bit of a story that goes along with this one. England, 1812. King George, King George III, III has fallen ill. Ill. His, His flamboyant son, the Prince of Wales, Prince now sits upon the throne. Now sits upon the throne. Sorry narrator, I'm just going to talk over you. Welcome to the Regency era. High Spirited Bella is the eldest, eldest daughter of a respectable family. She dreams of dancing in fashionable ballrooms and winning the heart of a handsome suitor. Perhaps even the sophisticated and most eligible Lord Henry Worthington. Wow, they are healing. Ooh, but Bella's hopes have been dashed now that her foolish brother Edward has gambled away the family fortune. I feel like I've heard this story before. Leaving her, facing leaving her facing an arranged marriage to her odious neighbor, Mr. Bleakley, aptly named. Can Bella, Can Bella restore her family's wealth and reputation? And will her dreams, will her dreams come, come true? true? Will Worthington come into our parlor? I don't know. We'll see. The Regency Solitaire, all right. Now, yeah, normal? Yeah, I think we're gonna go with normal. That seems like a good, suitable thing. I think. Papa, when will we hold the ball? Enough, Bello. The extravagance of holding a ball at our humble abode is well beyond our means. My sister and I become old maids if we don't get out into society soon. If you want for a husband, our neighbor Mr. Bleakley would make an acceptable suitor, surely. I should die of boredom if we were to marry. Husband, will you stop extolling the virtues of that man bleakly? I declare he is the most odious gentleman in the county. Bella can do better. M Margaret, dearest, calm yourself and become acquainted with the facts, if you please. I cannot settle any fortune upon Bella, a fact that bleakly is willing to overlook. Indeed, we should consider ourselves thankful if he makes an offer of marriage. Oh, wow, said the Barlow. Mama, Mama, I've received a letter. My godmother, Lady Fleetwood, has invited me to a grand ball in Bath. Finally, a dream come true. How wonderful! You will be dancing among England's most fashionable and eligible gentlemen. We must consider your wardrobe. Fetch out my old trunk. There's some finery inside from my own debutante days. Oh boy. And yeah, let's get playing. Alright, the basics. Click on a tableau card. One number higher or lower than the face-up foundation card at the bottom of the screen. Node and ace can go on a king and vice versa. Pretty basic. All right. Let us go with... Well, we don't have any queens, so we got to pick an ace. Let's pick an ace. Okay, two. Mm-hmm. I will go back down to an ace. And I'll back up to a two. And then uh, there's no more valid place, so we'll draw one. Boom. Uh, okay, we go with Jack. Now we can go up to a queen, or we can grab a ten. I feel like there's two tens, so let's grab one of those. Mm, wasn't the greatest thing. Uh, ten can go nine, or Jack. Okay, we're going three. And that gives us, we get the four, and that's it, we're stuck. Okay, five. Now we can go, I think we'll go six, seven. Seven. That opened up stuff. Meh. Kind of. King, queen. Um, with nothing lower. We'll flip a five. Four. Three. And that does us no good. We don't have a two or a four available. We flipped a king. Okay, well now we're talking. We got a queen here. Let's take a queen. A jack. Uh, we can go ten, nine. We got a huge run here. Or we can grab the queen. Ho oh, ho, I'm torn. I think I'm gonna go with a run down. No, but there's another jack. We could go back up the other way. So jack, queen, that's two. Or we can go nine, eight, seven. Eh. Yeah. But that only uncovers, that doesn't uncover as many cards. I think that's what my concern is. Let's go up. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we could go we could go back down again. It's tempting us, isn't it? Queen. Okay, now we're kind of stuck. Let's flip a card. We got a six. Hmm, let's go with a 7, and I guess we'll go 8, 9, 10. That's our little run, but we are stuck there. We don't have a 9 or a jack. Alright, we flip a queen. Nothing doing. 4. We'll take the 5. 
and then we're stuck again. An eight uncovers the seven. Hmm. A seven can't go anywhere. King can go ace. Two. Three. Now we don't have a four or a two, so we'll flip. An ace. A two. We'll take the three again. A five. That takes the six. Flip again. A nine. An eight takes the nine. And there we go. And that is it. Now we get a bit more story. So we completed a hand. We got some gold. And chapter goal, find Mama's trunk. Okay, that's in this chapter we need to do that. Okay, I don't want to set as a desktop wallpaper. There's nothing else to do here. Let's move on. Oh, no story yet. Mama's trunk is hidden under some cards. Find it to progress to the next chapter. Fine, I shall. I shall. Let's see. So we've got some things locked up here. Now we can grab 7, 8, or we can go 5. 5 doesn't uncover anything, but it would allow us to get at the 4, 3. I think we're going to go 5, 4, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, okay, um, 7, and then we could go back down to 6, or we could go up to 8. Uh, I'm kind of torn. It would be nice if we had more option. Uh, we don't, I think. I, I Since there's no 9, and I'd be stuck, I think I'm going to take the 6 and uncover what's underneath. That's a queen. Alright, well, let's. I think we end the combo there, right? Okay, we got a queen. Um, let's go... Uh, we go king, queen, jack, queen. How about that? King, queen, jack, queen. Um, and I really probably should have taken one of the tens. <laughs> okay, we'll throw away flip uh, seven. Okay, seven gives us eight. And then that is all. Nine gives us ten. There we are. Hmm, but we didn't get anything else there. We'll flip over for seven, we'll take the eight, and we uncovered Mama's trunk revealed. Ah, wonderful, you found my trunk, Bella. Look inside for something you can wear to the ball. There was an exquisite fan in Mama's trunk. Ooh, very nice. Uh, an eight, we need a seven or a nine. We have neither. We'll flip a ten. Doesn't do me any good. A king. Well, the king will get me the ace, which will get me the two, which uh, we need another ace is what we need. Hmm, we got a king and queen staring at me there. An eight? A jack. A jack will get me a ten. Oh, he <laughs> could have also got me a queen and a king. Oh well. An ace. There we go. Uh, king. Queen. King. And now I'm stuck there. We're going to flip. An ace will get me a two. An eight will get me a seven. And a three will get me a four. Hurrah! All right, hand two complete. Uh, we got the chapter goal. Here we go. Now we go. Charlotte. Dear sister, I'm so delighted for you. When a young lady attends a ball, it is always the start of an adventure. Thank you, Charlotte. If only it would, that were true. Our brother Edward, who I cannot help but love despite his being a complete greenhorn and losing all our money, leaves me little option but to resign myself to a future with Blakely. But you must hold fast to your dreams, Bella. You've been practicing your dance steps for so long. If Lady Fortune f truly smiles upon us, you could even hold a ball here someday. Bleakly need not be invited. Now that would give me great joy. But can we can but dream. Come, help me get my things in order for the journey. Welcome, oh, Bella's Ballroom. Welcome to Bella's Makeover Project. Turn this antiquated room into a ravishing Regency Ballroom and shop for the latest fashion accessories. All right. Oh, I like this price. Free. We'll take an exquisite fan. Perfect for flirting. The effect allows us to collect wild cards. I like that there's effects to these things. Bella will look stunning in this classical ballroom dress. Effect displays, displays how many cards are in the stockpile. <laughs> ravishing. Or... These long white evening gloves are perfect for wearing to evening functions. In fact, it gives you two undoes per hand. Oh, I'm going to take the undoes right now. And we can't afford that. We're just a little bit shy. All right, we've moved up. We're over uh, at the Grand Ballroom. Lady Fleetwood. 
Look at my beautiful goddaughter, Bella. It's her first ball here in Bath. I'm so proud of her. Bath truly is the place to visit this season, says the gossips. All the fashionable set are here, even Lord Henry Worthington. He is so handsome and generous and owns vast estates, yet none of the young heiresses dangling after him has won his heart. Bella. Mr. Bleakley, I had not expected to see you here. Bella, dear, I must be at your side whenever possible, wherever possible. Come, dance with me, I insist upon it. Then uh, it would not be noble of me to refuse your offer, sir. But of course, I am sure you may have many willing partners at this, your first ball. But when they learn your face is only your only fortune, the earls and marquises will look elsewhere. I will still be here waiting, however. Quite so, Mr. Blakely. Is that meant to comfort me? Do not keep me waiting too long, Bella. I'm not a patient man. Oh, boy. Okay. Find a Cupid statue. Achieve a combo of six. All right, we start with a three. That means we can go up or down. We go three, uh, two, three, four, or we can go down. Three, two, ace, and that doesn't get us down. We go three, two, three, four, three. I think we'll do that. Two, three, four, three, four. And I uh, will take that wild card. I don't know what that does. To keep a combo going, click a suitable wild card to place on the foundation. Oh. Okay, so that says K. So is that only a king? And that would not be suitable then. I see. I misunder I didn't understand how that worked. Okay, nine. Uh, nothing. Seven. We'll take the six. Uh, nothing. Uh, but we could... Oh, oops. Undo that. <laughs> and I just used an undo. Uh, eight. Okay, we'll take the nine. Oh boy. The seven. Okay, now we'll take the six. The five. The six. And the ten. Hmm. Huh. Okay, so now I guess we can play the king, then the queen, then the ace. Oh, oops. No, that is not how that works. <laughs> the ten. The nine. The eight. Uh, the two. Ah, here we are. The ace, the two, the ace, the king. And that locks us out. Now the seven, eight. Ah, uh, I could have gone six, five. Oh, well. King, ten. That opens the jack. The queen, the jack. Okay, nothing. Ace. Back up. Uh, jack. No. Queen. Well, that gets us the other jack. The nine. No. The king. No. The king. No. <laughs> Queen. No. Oh boy. Eight. Four. Gets us three. Oh, I don't know that I wanted that. <laughs> uh, I don't know that I wanted that. Oh boy, let's see here. Two. Seven. Six. Five. Four, five, ten, five. Ouch. We did great. <laughs> All right. Let's continue. All right, now there's a key. Ooh, play. Would you like to try to play in card design? Uh, no, I don't. I like the fancy cards. How dare you, sir? Let's do oh, and then we'll put that on the lock. All right, so we got ten. Well, let's open that with a nine. And we are kind of hooped. Seven. I don't see a six or an eight. A five. No better. A queen. Well, that's something now, isn't it? That brings us a king, but we don't have an ace or a queen. Another king. A two. Okay, now we're, now we're looking at something here. Let's grab the three from over here. The two. The three, the four, um, there's another three, but I think I'm going to open up the five, the six. We know that blocks us though, which is a bummer. Whereas the three here is always a little mystery, isn't it? We don't know what's under there. I'm going to go with the three. Nope. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to go with it. We'll accept that. Three. An ace. Uh, that, well, that gives me a king. 
a 5. Okay, a 6, a 5. Uh, we want a 4 or 6. No, nothing. Okay, a 6. No, a 2. No, a 10. Yes, the jack. A jack, and that's it. We don't, we need a 10 or a queen. The 2, the 7. Well, that gets us an 8. Okay, so which one do we want to go with? The, we'll go with this one, the 9, the 8, the 9. We need a 10 or an 8. We don't have either. There we go, the 10. That'll take, give us the jack, but we need a, a 10 or a queen. A 7. Well, that gives us a 6. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. A 4. A queen. Okay, well, that now... We go king, ace, or we can go jack. I think we'll go king, ace. And then we can't do anything else here. We need a 2 or a king. A 9. We'll take the 8. We got another 8. A 4. A jack. A queen. Well, that opens up that jack. Oh boy. An ace. A 10. Wow, these, this was a, a bummer of a hand. No stars. Oh no. I think we have to redo this one. You know, let's retry this. That, that, was, that was ridiculous. Okay, so now we know. Key in there. Alright. Um, six. Really? <laughs> That's our start. Is a six. I don't like it. No. Okay. King. Well, that would be better. Queen. And not really better. Ace. Okay. And still not so much. Six. There we are. Okay. Let's go. Seven. Uh, eight. Nine. Ten. Nine. Okay. I don't see a eight or a ten. We'll open a queen. The king. I don't have an ace or anything else. Uh, we've got an eight now. In this case, seven. Six. Uh, seven. We've got a couple of tens and a three and a four. Mm hmm. There we go. Uh, we'll take the jack. It opens up a ten. Uh, the ten again. We don't have a nine or jack. Now we got an eight. A king. An ace. It's a lot of cards I don't need. A five. There we go. Four. Three. Hmm. We don't have a two or a four. Another three. A six. A jack. Okay, we'll go ten. Boy, oh boy. We're getting trounced here, I feel like. So we can go three. Three. Two. Ace. Uh. Okay, and then we'll go jack. Um, uh, hmm. Two, okay, there we go. Three, uh, four, five. I thought it would take that over the two because it's a sure thing. And then we got an ace. Oh, uh, we'll take the two. A ten. Oh boy. We'll see here. Okay, the seven goes for eight. Nine. Five, four, okay. <laughs> oh, and we really need a ten. Okay, we got a five. Look at all this leftover. I think we're. Wow. We really got transferred on that one. Okay, we're doing it one more time. I'm surprised at this. I mean, we're on easy difficulty here. Okay. Number two, we're going to take an ace. Uh, then there's no king. Okay, take the queen. Um, that's that. The jack doesn't open up anything for us. The queen, nope. Jack, nope. Oh boy. Four, okay. Three. Um, four. We'll take the eight and we'll crack open seven. Six. Five. Four, five, four, okay, four, three, 
Um, and that does end the combo, is that there's no nothing else there. That's all right. We got a seven, eight, seven, nothing. Okay, we got a nine, nothing. Okay, a 10 gives us a nine, a seven. No, a king gives us a queen. Oh, we could, okay, there we go. King gives us an ace, gives us a two. Uh, we're going to take the ace, and then there's another ace underneath, so I'm kind of glad we played that. A queen, a five, a ten, <laughs> oh boy, five, a six, a six. This is ridiculous. A king, okay, there we go, an ace. <laughs> oh my goodness, a nine, an eight, a nine, an eight. Oh, we are dying here. A jack. A ten. <laughs> really? Really? Okay, well, that does nothing. I think we have lost that. Wow. Okay, well, we found, we achieved a combo of six. I'm just going next. Okay, wow. So that moves us to the third room. So we lost that room. Now we've got the two here. Uh, we don't have an ace or a three. Queen. No. It is funny. I find when you, you lose a little bit in a game like this, I start second guessing all my decisions. Like, am I just losing my mind? Am I like, am I that bad at this? Probably yes. Probably yes. Um, six, seven, and then we'll go back down. We got a three. We'll take four. Um, I think I've just had a weird luck of cards here. Uh, jack, 10, unlock this, and the 9, uh, 8, 9, 8, there's no 7, so we'll go with the 9, and that ends the combo. Another 9, that does me no good. An ace, there we go, okay. Okay, so an ace, 2, ace, 2. A jack, no. An eight, no. A king, no. A six, five, six, five. Um, jack, ten. Uh, jack, and then we've got four cards exposed. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna get this one. Four, three, uh, three, four, uh, three, Seven, king. Oh, uh, and we missed a card. Oh, did we? Oh, the king. There we go. That was ridiculous. I would have gotten it here, but that's good. We caught it. Uh, there we go. There we did that one. Oh, Cupid statuette revealed. What an adorable cherub. He will add a touch of romance to any setting. This Cupid statuette will look wonderful in Belle's ballroom. Perfect. All right, that is those things. Good. Henry, I was waiting to long to, so long to dance with you, Bella, but it seemed every other gentleman was ahead of me. I am honored, Lord Worthington. It is more than I could have hoped for. I have enjoyed a truly charming evening. I am so very glad we met. Nothing would give me more happiness than to dance with you again. And please, do call me Henry. Family portraits, fine. New portraits for dear Edward and Charlotte would be a joy to behold. Oh, wow. Okay, so first we got the Cupid, which is free. I like that. We got 1200 bucks. Uh, I kind of like that. And, uh, oh, we need to get the portrait of Edward. Okay, so this is 750 I think we can get both of these things. In fact, turns over 15% of the face-down cards at the start of each hand. Um... Okay, and then we'll buy that. Okay, we need 10 grand for the other painting. Wow. Well, I think that's a good place to take a break. I'm going to come back. I'll definitely do uh, at least one more episode, but um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. How I, I have no idea how card games actually play as Let's Plays. I really don't know. I know when there's elements of cards within uh, other games that people enjoy them, but I don't know as, a, as its own thing specifically. 
it's hard to say. I mean, some it just every game is different. I like that this one has a story. That's one of the things that is very enticing, really. At any rate, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye bye.